In this video, I'm going to show you how to work around some of the problems that can crop up in Mesh Mixer that uh, might cause problems when you try to use your Mesh Mixer output in sort of downstream programs. So I've got our sort of bunny here with the head removed. I'm going to drop on this dog head. And what I'm going to do is go over here and play with this tweaker setting. So what this does is it changes the sort of area over which the part replaces the existing surface. Um, so if you've got big skinny triangles on the end of your part, you might have to increase this to avoid what happens if it's too small. So we can simulate if it's too small by setting a really low value. Um, and, we, and we accept. And what we see is all these blue edges have shown up. Um, and those blue edges, when it's blue like that, it means it's a boundary edge, just like down here at the bottom. That's an open boundary. So these are internal boundaries now that we want to clean up or get rid of. So that's places where the stitching basically failed. So what you can do is you grab the selection tool and just select around that, and you hit erase. And if you're lucky, it will just erase and replace with a nice clean piece of mesh. And if not, it'll give you this message saying that you can't do it. Um, what that means is that the selection tool didn't work properly because of the interior boundary of causes and problems. So what you do then to get rid of it is you just click discard. And that's going to make a little hole. I threw away all those triangles. And then you just brush select around the hole and erase again, and you get a clean mesh. So you clean up that area. So basically, that's all you have to do to get rid of all these little glitches. Um, there we go, same problem. Same solution, just drag around the outside and erase. So you can do that to clean up any of those little blue, blue holes. Uh, another problem that can happen, so that's another model here. is non-manifold edges. So that's, if you load up your model, and you see these little red dots and red edges, so the dots are the vertices, um, or sometimes this happens after you do an erase operation, you can get non-manifold triangles. I haven't fixed that one yet. Um, and so these are areas where there's like three triangles connected along an edge, which can be a problem. So again, the same thing, same solution. You just select the area and erase. And usually this one, the, the problem of both the selection doesn't happen. But if it does, you do discard and then erase. But otherwise, you can just erase. And then you've cleaned up your non-manifold edges and the mesh is ready for using another program where those non-manifold edges might have caused a crash or something like that. All right, that's it. Bye.